Welcome, Adores. In our new restaurant, Pizza Yolo, planning employee schedules is very important. On one hand, we want all of our operations to run smoothly, but on the other hand, we want to provide the maximum flexibility to our employees so they have the best work experience. Now, the good news is that with Odoo Planning, we have a variety of options that allow us to plan well ahead of time and efficiently. So we will take a look at all of those in this tutorial. So here we are in our database and we will go right ahead into the planning module. So immediately we can see our schedule for the week. We can also make any changes that we would like with a really quick drag and drop. But for now, let's actually go ahead and look at our configuration and our roles. So Pizza Yolo is actually growing so fast that we have hired a new employee. So welcome, Guillaume. Hey, Susanna. Yes, I have just been hired here at Pizza Yolo. I'm so excited. Actually, I'm going to take care of our delivery service. Well, that's great. We're happy to have you. And let's go ahead and add Guillaume to the delivery role. As in any company, we have many employees performing different roles. So here at Pizza Yolo, we have bartenders, waiters, chefs, and our colleagues handling the delivery services. So I will go ahead and add Guillaume here. And also, since your account is completely new, I'm going to go ahead into configuration and I will take a look at my employees since I have just created your account. So here we have Guillaume. Let's open uh, the record. And the tab that really interests us in the context of planning is the work information tab. We have more tutorials about employees and other HR apps. If you're interested, please go ahead and check them out. For now, we'll just scroll down in the work information tab. And what interests us concerning planning is the employee schedule. Now, by default, this is set to 40 hours a week, a standard contract. But for example, for our colleagues that work part-time, we could go ahead here and create new schedules. Let's go back to Guillaume's profile. And another option that interests us concerning planning is the roles. So as we have just seen, we have added the delivery role to his account. But you know what? We can go ahead and add more roles. Let's say we will also, you will also help out with waiting the tables and making the pizzas. I can handle it. That's the spirit. But of course, we hired you primarily for the deliveries. So delivery is going to stay your default role. Now, this is something that will uh, come into play when we will talk more about the auto planning feature. For now, since we're talking about delivery, we can also not forget that we have gotten a new scooter and we need to go ahead and create this as one of our materials. Wait, hold on, Susanna. What does a scooter have to do with planning? That's a very good point, Kim. So in our company, we have several employees handling the deliveries, but until now, we only had one scooter. I will go ahead and create another delivery scooter. So I will click on new here. I'll say delivery scooter two, and I will assign it the role scooter. Now, this will be very useful for those cases when we have a lot of deliveries going on and we need to keep track of who is using each specific scooter on which shift so we don't get lost. Now, everything has been configured for your account and your delivery scooter, so we can actually go ahead and create your first shift. I will go into schedule and let's take a look at planning by roles. So here we see everyone who's handling the different uh, shifts during the week. We have our bartenders, chefs, and for delivery, for now, we only have Jasmine handling the work. I will go ahead and create a new shift. Now I could do this clicking on the new button, or I can simply choose the time slot that I want. Let's say your first shift will be tomorrow. I will choose you as my resource. And since your default role is delivery, it is automatically selected from here. Now I have a couple of options to go through. I can, for example, say that I would like to repeat this shift once a week uh, for as long as I like. I can play with the options here. I could also self save it as a template. More about that later. For now, I will just go ahead and save the shift. Now the shift has been created. You can see from the diagonal lines that it uh, is still in the draft state right now. I will go ahead and click on publish. I'll say, good luck. I can write a little message for my employees. You can go ahead and publish and send. I'll save and send my schedule. 
And that is it. You will have an email about your new shift in your mailbox. And for this video, this is it from my side. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.